So this problem came up in IOQM 2023. This was problem number 10. It's on a recurrence relation. So if you are not familiar with recurrence relations, I'll explain it a little bit for you. Basically, a sequence of numbers is given. Let's say if I tell you 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. One can try to create formula, create formula to describe this sequence. Now, this formula can be analytical. Analytical means you just plug in n and you get the nth term of the sequence. So, this is the first term, this is the second term, the third term, the fourth term, the fifth term, and so on. So, you create a formula where if you plug in this input, this value of n, which is the term of term number of the sequence, you will get the output of the sequence. That is whatever the value of the sequence is for that term. So this, this particular sequence has a formula which is xn equals to 2 to the power n minus 1. And you can easily check this. If you plug in n equal to 1, you'll get 2 to the power 0, which is 1. If you plug in n equals to 2, you will get 2 to the power 1, which is 2, and so on. There is a recurs recursive formula, which is also quite useful at some times. The recursive formula in this particular case is x1 is 1, and for n greater than or equal to 2, xn is equals to 2 times xn minus 1. So, what we say is that every next term is twice the previous term. So, this formula also describes this sequence in a different way. So, this particular problem speaks about such a recursive relation. The first term, sometimes it starts with the zeroth term. The zeroth term of the sequence is given to be 1 and the first term, the term number 1 is negative 4. And it is given that second term onward or A2 onward, which is basically the third term of the sequence because you are starting with zeroth term, this particular relationship holds. That is a n minus 2, a n plus 2 is equal to negative 4 a n plus 1 minus 7 times a n. We want to find out a 50 square minus a 49 times a 51. So we want to find the 50th term square, square of the 50th term, subtract from it the product of 49th term and 51th term. Okay. So, how are you going to do this? So, there is a strategy called auxiliary sequence. In fact, um, we use auxiliary functions all the time when we solve Olympiad problems. So, I will create a new sequence. Let us call it xn which is equal to a n square minus a n minus 1 times a n plus 1. Okay. So, basically I am trying to mimic this final object. The middle term square minus the previous term times the next term. So, if you have three terms in a sequence, three terms in a sequence, the middle one, the previous one, the next one, what you want is the middle term square minus the previous one times the next one. 
that's exactly what I have written here. Okay. All right. So now I want to find a pattern in this particular sequence and I want to find out x50. Okay. So let's see what is x n plus 1. Let's check that out. What is xn plus 1? So xn plus 1 is a n plus 1 square minus a n times a n plus 2. Okay. All right. So let's replace a n plus 2 by this quantity. So you already know a n plus 2 is this. That's given in the problem, right? Let me paste it here. So I am going to replace a n plus 2 by its value that is given or the expression that is given. Okay. So let's do that. a n plus 1 square minus a n times minus 4 a n plus 1 minus 7 a n which is equal to a n plus 1 square minus well actually I'll open the bracket so 4 a n times a n plus 1 plus 7 a n square. Now let's focus on this first part. There is a very interesting thing that will go happen. Let's sub let's take a n plus 1 common. So I'll have a n plus 1 plus 4 a n inside the parentheses. I just took a n plus 1 common. So plus 7 a n square. Now let's get back to this expression that's given. If I bring the 4 a n plus 1 this side, what I'm going to get, let me just make some say space here, a n plus 2 plus 4 a n plus 1 equal to negative 7 a n. Look at this. This thing here and this thing here are same. The only difference is here in place of n, in place of n, here in place of n, I have n minus 1. So just plug in n minus 1 in place of n and you will get this thing. So you have a n minus 1 plus 2 plus 4 a n minus 1 plus 1 equal to minus 7 a n minus 1. So this is a n plus 1 plus a 4 a n equals to negative 7 a n minus 1. So we, we get it. We get what is this. This is simply negative 7 a n minus 1. So finally we get 7 a n squared. This is coming from here. Minus 7 a n minus 1 times a n plus 1. So let's take 7 common. a n squared minus a n minus 1 times a n plus 1, which is xn. 7 times xn. This is fantastic because what we found is that xn plus 1 is equal to 7 times xn. And you can easily check by plugging in values that x1 is equal to 7. You can check this. First calculate a2 and then calculate x1. So x1 is 7. So if xn plus 1 is 7 times xn, then x50 is simply 7 to the power 50. 
actually the question asks how many divisors are there of this number of x50 or how many divisors are there of this thing so there are 51 divisors so the answer is 51 in this particular case i hope you learned something i'll see you in the next one